the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. I just wanted to do a quick update today. Um, I received some new information from Ice River on the fans and the new batch of KS0s and apparently they have new firmware with these new KS0s that they shipped out recently um, and the fan speeds um, could be like at zero when you boot the thing up. Um, mine was. Mine did not run until I booted it up to 100%. But here's what Ice River said. Like a lot of people um, I've been talking to have been saying, hey, did your fans arrive dead? And um, I don't think that they knew that you could change the fan speeds, or maybe they did. But um, I changed mine to 100% like pretty much right off the bat just to make sure that while I was setting up, um, it was staying cool. But um, a lot of people have been saying their fans are dead, but I guess they're not really dead, guys. Just so you know, if your fans are not running when you receive your KS0, it's because of this. Check this out. Ice River sent this to me. Um, we appreciate the discussion around the default fan speed setting for the second batch of KS0s. Please note that the fan is set to start spinning when the chip temperature reaches a certain range, ensuring that the chip is operating within its optimal uh, temperature range. They go on to say, it is important to understand that the surface of the machine may feel very hot to the touch when the chip is at its optimal operating temperature. This is a normal phenomenon and indicates that the chip is operating efficiently. Our miners have high temperature protection mechanisms. No need to worry if surface temperature is elevated with stable hash rate. Thank you for understanding and support. Um, okay, so they're saying, oh, guys, you know, it, they can run hotter. Don't worry. If your fans, uh, little mini fans inside aren't, um, you know, running, it's because it's a default mechanism that makes them kick in at a certain temperature. But um, I just want to know what the optimal temperature is for this thing to be at. Um, I don't, I, I asked them if they could give me optimal temperatures for um, the intake and output, um, you know, the uh, temperature one, and temperature two, like the intake and uh, exhaust. Um, so I'm kind of waiting to hear back from them to see what they say. Um, so I, if you guys are worried about your fans not turning on when you receive these, uh, the internal fans, uh, don't worry. Apparently they will kick on if it overheats. Um, I'm still keeping fans on mine. Um, they said that, hey, as long as your hash rate stable, but um, I was chatting with my buddies Blue Moon Mining and um, Fully Electric on Discord, um, and I uh, I posted this in my Discord, and basically, uh, uh, gentleman Oizen Lee um, said, um, meanwhile there is a firmware update for fan controller. Only when the chip degree is above 65 degrees Celsius, the fan will start to work. The reason why this has changed is the temperature for best performance of chip is 80 degrees Celsius. And he says shell temperature approximately 50 degrees Celsius, but it means it is hot when you cl um, get close to the miner. Um, kind of like what Ice, Ice River said, but Ice River was non-specific. Oizen Lee sounds like he got specific information from Ice River. Um, I haven't verified it or anything, but um, so, you know, he said he got this directly from Ice River uh, when I asked him. Um, so I posted it in my Discord, um, trying to share the information with you guys here on YouTube too, in case you're not on Discord or Twitter. Um, so I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what the optimal temperature is, but it sounds like if you're getting stable hash rate, you're golden. Um, maybe just leave your setup alone if you're getting stable hash rate. My first KS0 uh, doesn't have the new firmware and my hash rate's more steady than some of these uh, pictures that I'm seeing from other, other fellas. Um, Fully Electric posted a couple pictures of his hash rate um, you know, it looks like it's, it's pretty peaky here. Um, but it's, it's, you know, this one's pretty stable. Um, he says, I'm running the miners a little hotter and it's still stable. Hash rate only dropped to 50, but bounced back to 150. So it's still normal. And it does kind of do that. You guys have probably seen if you've been watching your KS zeros. Um, if you watch them on your dashboard, you know, the hash rate fluctuates pretty wildly. Um, so I'm not really sure how we're supposed to tell, um, exactly how a normal operation is but I've, I've talked to other people um today in twitter and different media sources social media sources and um i'm seeing people's hash rate drop to zero and then shoot up to like 200 and then drop to zero so i'm assuming that's what they mean by unstable hash rate look fully electrics never really going that low you know like 73 and he's not going all the way to zero he got pretty close uh, he got down there there but i mean He's not hitting zero. I've seen people bounce off this bottom line. Like the miner is trying to reboot. It doesn't like whatever is going on. 
Um, and I've seen that happen when they're running too cold. I've seen people running there's too cold at like 26 degrees Celsius. Um, and I've, al I've also seen it when it's running too hot as uh, Foley Electric said, he said at 54 degrees, it's not as stable. Let me see, I'm assuming, sorry, Foley Electric, I'm trying to make sure I got this right. I'm assuming that this one is the 54 degrees. Yeah, that one's 54 degrees. Okay, so um, yeah, Foley Electric says, um, yeah, here we go, the, almost down to zero. He said it is not stable at 54 degrees. Um, so basically, it's the Goldilocks thing. You know, like you, gotta, you don't want to keep them too hot. You don't want to keep them too cold. But we're still all trying to figure out what is the optimal temperature range. So if we go by Oisen and Lee, um, I, you know, like I have the, my thermal imaging camera. If you guys saw my other videos, the Predator, I'll bust him out one of these days. I got to work three in a row in my, my normal job. So I'm not going to be able to do extensive testing uh, on this new information. Uh, but I will get the Predator out and I will do my best to try and see if I can get like a nice stable 50 degrees on, on these ice rivers. Uh, the problem is also uh, guys like me, I'm planning on putting this in my garage and it's warmer in my garage. So um, we, we just got to watch the hash rate, make sure it's not dipping down to zero, make sure your temperatures are in a decent range. Um, and you guys should be fine. So I don't want to freak anybody out, but I just wanted to make sure everybody had this information. Um, all my people that are following me on YouTube, I really appreciate you following me. And I don't want to give you guys any false information. I actually had like a really nice like um, optimization video and like uh, like ultimate setup video that I've been working on really hard. And now this kind of changes the game. Um, I sort of dropped this information. Um, people have been having problems with their fans and now everything is changing with a second batch so I'm gonna do my best to like keep up with it I'm gonna do shorter videos and maybe that um, full setup and optimization video will have to wait a little while to, till I can make sure that I'm not giving you guys um, bad information since this new information has come to light so um, anyway uh, I feel like there was something else I wanted to chat with you guys about let me see uh, yeah, I mean, that about covers it for now. So I hope you guys got your KS zeros. I'm still waiting on my tracking number for my KS1. Um, I'm, I'm happy I got my KS1 original one running very well. It's great. It's kicking butt. I got my two KS zeros. They're both kicking butt. Still waiting on that KS1, Ice River. So I emailed you. Send me an email back. I haven't got my tracking number. And I was supposed to get it between July 1st and July 5th. But I'm going to give you a little time. I'm not going to harass you too much yet. Anyway, um... I hope you guys found this information helpful. Unfortunately, nobody knows for sure exactly the perfect temperature, the perfect setup anymore now that Ice Rivers um, upgraded the firmware with this new, um, I guess, protect mode. So anyway, um, we'll find out more. And as soon as I find out more, I'm going to be putting it on Twitter and I'm going to be making videos about it. So you guys follow me on Twitter. If you haven't already, you're messing up bad. You should follow me. Uh, and then also, please subscribe. Um, I'd really appreciate uh, if you'd hit the like button as well. Hit the notification button. All that fun stuff everyone tells you to do when they're a YouTuber. So anyway, um, I hope you guys uh, are doing all right with your KS Heroes. And don't forget to keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.